What's going on guys? This is Kaisho. Welcome back. So we are back with another video. On this video, we're going to cover my banlist prediction for July 2024 OCG limit regulation. So we are going to have a new banlist this coming Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, no? June 23 at 7 or 8 p.m. So we're going to have a complete new banlist this coming week, this Sunday. So it's going to be very exciting for us because the metagame will change and a lot of things will shift for us so yeah without further ado let's start so coming at first on the ban section we have Kaiser Colosseum so this card is very obnoxious imagine setting up your board your ob already powerful board paired with Kaiser Colosseum there's not uh, many people can do against those kind of board and decks like Salaman Great uh, things like Tenpai Dragon and Centurion all of those decks can comfortably sit on Kaiser Colosseum and just win the game on the next turn so it's very hard to deal against with this card and i really think that this card should get the ban hammer this coming july ban list and there's a good reason for that we already knew how toxic this card is even runic capitalizes on using this kaiser colosseum so i'm not really uh i'm not really going to be surprised if this card will be banned on sunday so yeah this is only the only card for the ban section I already considered Beatrice as well on uh, listing that card on this ban section but I do feel like that Konami will still uh, put it on pedestal. They're still going to see if Beatrice can definitely impact the Finsmith decks and those uh, shenanigans would be toxic enough to be ban worthy. But for now, i just going to be uh, list down the Sky Circle Seum on this ban section. So next we have the limited one this looks like a wish list no because there's many cards here that is included that are included so coming at first we have zodiac trident so i do feel like that other decks are much more uh, rigid or obnoxious rather than the zodiac and most decks are kind of more punishing than the zodiac trident pass so i do feel like that zodiac trident could come back to one at the very least maybe zodiac could get some spotlight on the metagame once again their last uh patronage on the metagame was 2021 back when the meta was el lich zodiac tri brigade and virtual world and tritron so it's been a long time so it's been three years already so i do feel like that zodiac could definitely spark a comeback this coming july ban list so next we have little knight so little knight is already a busted card on its own we already knew how impactful this card is coming from agov it definitely changed a lot of things on the metagame rest case get even more powerful from this little knight and other decks are kind of getting stronger as well from the ip mascarena going into little knight shenanigans and play so it definitely bring a lot of things on the table that's why i want little knight to be at one to limit the impact of this card on the metagame and also to hurt the rest case imagine rest case having their second copy of little knight on the mid game to late game scenarios those can be very punishing for you and i don't want to see it happen in my own games that's why i opted to list little knight into one on this limited section next we have sprite elf a very bold claim from me but i have two reasons for that uh, first was the introduction of tactical try live twin or evil twin in the market so i do feel like that they're going to buff the live twin by making sprite elf available for the deck so it could definitely bring passages into a lot of plays for the live twin with the sprite elf and also sprite elf can also improve a lot of decks especially the sprite archetype itself which is struggling very bad on the current uh, modern meta game so i do feel like that sprite elf could come back to one and the other reason was uh this is the only card that is banned from the branded storyline in the ocg so konami will uh publish a product that contained all of the cards in the branded alba storyline so i do feel like that sprite elf could make a comeback on that uh, product and it could definitely sell more if sprite elf would be there and uh tri brigade sprite and other decks that are capitalizing on level 2 rank 2 shenanigans could definitely benefit from the sprite elf going back and yeah moving on we have snake case ash so my uh take on 
uh, limiting the power and suppressing the power of Snake Eyes was limiting Snake Eyes Ash into one. Uh, I do feel like that it could hurt the consistency of the already obnoxiously, ridiculously consistent deck of Snake Eyes. So yeah, I do feel like the Snake Eyes Ash could go into one, especially they have the Finsmith now. They are very consistent more than ever. So Snake Eyes Ash one, Snake Eyes Ash going into one could make sense. Uh, could make a lot of sense on that regard. And also we have Snake Eyes Poplar going into one as well. So I do feel like that it could hurt the grind game of the deck. Uh, also the consistency and the stashability of this engine going towards the kinds of rest case and other decks could be uh, targeted as well on this uh, hit. So yeah, I think that uh, Konami won't kill the engine of Snake Eyes and they're just going to have restrictions like uh, Ash going to one and Poplar going into one. Next we have Fire King High Avatar Kirin. So Avatar Kirin is very strong on the Fire King. No? We already knew how powerful Fire King is for the past couple of formats. Fire King have been a very dominant deck. Even uh, until now, no? Fire King is still a very decent deck. Uh, probably a top 5 meta deck on my books. But yeah, I think Kirin should definitely go into one. It definitely severes a lot of play for the Fire King. It definitely salvages a lot of play for the engine of Fire King and it makes the Fire King engine very splashable towards the Snake Eyes engine and Finsmith engine as well. So yeah, I think Kirin into one could definitely happen. Next we have Snatch Steel going into one. So another form of uh, mind control, change of fort and all of those uh, Snatch Steel pseudo cards that could uh, shake up the side deck. No, Maybe it could see representations on the side deck. Uh, an alternative for the change of heart and mind control and mind control already doesn't see play anymore so yeah maybe snatch steel could give some limelight on those uh, interactions on the side deck so yeah snatch steel going into one so just limit test it right now and next we have anti-spell going into one so we all knew how impactful anti-spell is on the side deck of many people once they set up their board and uh, flip their anti-spell fragrance there's not many decks that can run over you because spell cards will be very pivotal on uh, mitigating the damages on the board uh, and also lightning storm, change of fart and all of those uh, spell cards like talent could definitely be uh, disregarded from the fragrance so I think anti-spell could go into one to suppress those uh, very unhealthy interactions on the Board, ma board making process of most meta decks on the format by supplementing it with fragrance. And next, we have another card that does the same job like the fragrance. We have some limit going into one. Uh, another alternative for anti spell, no? Once you set up your board, you're going to have a he high attack monsters and plethora of negations and interruptions paired with some limit. There's not many decks that can run over you and more more or less they are going to be stunned because they're just limited to two summons so they couldn't do too much unless they have outs for your floodgate so yeah i do feel like that these kinds of floodgate are unhealthy on the game and it should definitely be answered on our ban list this coming july and yeah moving on we have the r2 limited to two section we have sangen summoning the goodness gracious Tenpai, I'm a Tenpai user myself and I wouldn't deny any of the facts that Tenpai is very obnoxious and punishing right now. Once you set up the Sangen Summoning, you're going to have so much uh, free law. Once, uh, that term in gaming, no? Free law. Once you say that free law, it's almost an easy way out to win the game. Once you see sang Sangen Summoning, you're going to search for a card. You get the Jinroku, you get the Pydra, and you're just going to OTK the game uh, nonetheless. So, I think this card is very unhealthy. You don't really interact with this Sangen Summoning, and it definitely limits the interaction against Tenpai. So, I would see it going into 2. But, yeah, Kaishiro, why 2? Two? 2-2 two, two only, no? Because I do feel like that uh, Tenpai is still kinda new on our format. There are still going to be diversifications on Tenpai in our format and the info AE are still going to be released so I do feel like that Sangen Summoning into one into one is very uh, detrimental towards the health of Tenpai Dragon in the OCG region.
So yeah, only to two right now. And next we have barrier of the voiceless voice into to nothing too uh, rigid or impactful to, towards the voiceless voice. But voiceless voice have won the WCQ Philippines and also the YCSJ. And it makes voiceless voice as a very resilient deck. And I could see Konami doing some adjustments and targets on the back of voiceless voice by limiting the barrier into two. Because I probably think that it's one of the most obnoxious cards for voiceless voice right now. And next we have purely sleepy memory into two. Uh, just to buff the purely. Purely is struggling very bad on the modern uh, format right now. And I could see sleepy memory going back into two so that they could draw more cards and be more assertive on getting hand cards and hand traps to interrupt the opponent. So yeah. Moving on, going to our limited to 3 or the unlimited section, we have IB, the World Callis, Justicar, 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 yeah, I'm not sure on the proper uh, pronunciation of this uh, card. But yeah, I don't see many decks that could abuse this card going into 3. Maybe Dragon Link have used the IB and other Synchro decks like the Synchron and TG and yeah, other bunch of Synchro pile decks. But other than that, there's not many decks that could capitalize on IB and I do feel like that it's fine going to 3. I don't think that White Woods could uh, abuse this card on the format right now and yeah, I think it's fine going to 3. And the last card on our prediction would be Dino Wrestler Pankratops going into 3. So this is a very good alternative to out the floodgates and other problematic monsters on the game like Apulusa and other stuff like Quinda. So yeah, Pankratops into 3. Is a very versatile card on the side deck and it could definitely give so much uh, options on our side deck to have alternative uh, conditions to play uh, rather than the usual Cosmic Cyclone and things like Heavy Storm, Duster, Lightning Storm. So yeah, Pangartaps could definitely mount something special for our side deck this coming July format. So yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you do learn something. And if you have liked this video, please consider subscribing and following my YouTube channel. It definitely motivates me a lot. So once again, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.